welcome back to my channel this is stephanie cole with stephanie cole over 50 living and today we are going to be starting the second half of our all things citrus and we are going to be doing stuff that is more for cooking so we will be making lemon extract we will be making lemon cello and we will be preserving lemons and i will be making kind of a greek inspired rice mix with some preserved lemons that i still have anyway i hope you enjoy this if you haven't seen part one of what things that you can do with lemons that are more for not cooking then i will link that below and be sure to watch that We are starting out today making lemon extract and it's very simple, kind of along the lines of the vanilla extract that I made and I will link that below. And you need a peeler and you need some lemons that are washed and you need a jar and vodka. That's it. You can use lemon extract for all kinds of desserts and even add it into different kinds of savory meals. I like to use it for a lemon pound cake, lemon glaze. Even you can use it for if you're doing like lemon cookies. With this eight ounce container, I am going to be using five lemons and I'm just going to start peeling them and I've already washed them. They're organic. They're from a friend's tree. You're trying to leave as much as the white pith, which is this part right here. We're trying to leave as much of that as possible. You want this also to sit for at least six months. And I do not have a finished one to show you. If you wanted to do a full liter, I would do at least 10 lemons. Then what I'm gonna do is I am going to chop these up roughly and just put them in. And I'm gonna pour the vodka in. And then I'm just gonna seal it, give it a good shake, and I'm going to put this down with my vanilla extract, and every time I shake the vanilla extract, I will do the same for these, and we will have really yummy tasting vanilla extracts so I can make all kinds of little treats. So now we are going to do the lemon roasted garlic vinaigrette. It's really easy and super tasty. I am prepping the garlic for our roasted garlic lemon dressing. So I took most of the outer white skin and now I'm cutting the top. I'm going to cook it in a 400 degree oven for about 30 to 40 minutes. So the first thing we're going to do is I have the roasted garlic right here and I am going to pour in a little bit of the freshly squeezed lemon juice that I have into this little bowl. So I have about a half a clove of the roasted garlic and I'm just going to soften it up and mix it in to the little bit of lemon juice that I already have so that I can get any of the big chunks taken care of and have them all nice and smooth. Now into a jar I am going to add about a quarter of a cup, I'm eyeballing here, of good olive oil. This is a tea, two teaspoons of Dijon mustard and a teaspoon and a half of maple syrup. And I'm gonna add that in. I'm going to add in the roasted garlic that I just softened up and smoothed out. I'm going to add a pinch of dried thyme and a pinch of salt, a pinch of pepper, and then some freshly squeezed lemon juice. Cover it and give it a really, really good shake. Mm -hmm. 
The next thing we're going to make is limoncello. I've got these cute little bottles with some cork tops. With this, you need 100 proof vodka, sugar, and lemon peel. And again, it just needs to sit and wait. All is sitting and waiting. But with this recipe, actually, you don't need to wait as long. I think it's only three to four weeks. I haven't made this recipe before, so it'll be interesting for both of us to try it out. Once again, we are going to be peeling lemons. We are going to be peeling 10 lemons. Again, being careful not to get the white pithy part. So I'm going to do this, but I'm not going to film it because you just watched me do that a little bit ago. So we're gonna get started on that and then I will, I'll check back in. I just finished peeling 10 lemons. So now I'm just going to put that all in the quart jar that I have. And after I get this filled up, I'm going to add the vodka. Again, it's 100, 100 proof vodka that I have in here. That was three and a half cups of vodka in to the quart jar. I'm going to put this in a dark cool place for four days. Then we are going to add the simple syrup. It has been a week since we started the limoncello. From what I've read, you should at least leave the lemon rinds with the vodka for four days. And I've been busy, so I just went ahead and let it go for the week because this is usually my filming day. So let's get started on the simple syrup and then we can finish up the limoncello. For the second half of making the limoncello, I have three cups of water and I have two and a half cups of sugar that I've already measured out. And all I have to do is let it dissolve. It should only take about five minutes. Once it's dissolved, we need to let it cool completely and then we are going to pour it over the peel and the vodka mixture that we already have that it has been setting. The sugar water has cooled and now I'm going to be adding the uh, peels with the vodka and I'm just going to incorporate it all together. So this right here is going to stay in the refrigerator overnight and then I'm going to discard the peels and I'm going to add a, the rest of it into this bottle with the little cork that I've sterilized and then it'll be ready to go. The next thing we're going to be making is preserved lemons in salt and we will also be cooking up a really delicious Greek inspired rice recipe. I've got stuff everywhere for making everything that we've made today. What you need first is you're gonna need some kosher salt, a quart jar, your lemons, and a knife. So I'm going to pour out some of the salt and I'll explain why I'm doing it this way. And then I'm gonna put a layer down below. I've already washed the lemons and then I am just going to make sure I get as much salt and I'm gonna put them in here. that's really good for uh, when you're fermenting things. So I'm just gonna push down. You will see that once I'm cooking with them, I wash off a lot of the salt. The salt is literally just for the pre preserving part. And you also do not eat the inside of the lemon. It's just the lemon peel that you use. So last year when I made this one, I didn't add any seasonings, but this year I am going to add some peppercorns. And I'm also going to add some bay leaf. But before I add the bay leaf, I don't want them to get all crunchy. So I am going to continue to push down and get as much as the juice out of the lemons. And then I'm going to top it off with some lemon juice that I juiced. I am going to put the lid on 
put it in the refrigerator and cover it up. It needs to at least sit for three weeks up to a month, but it does last for a full year. This one I made in February and it's still ready to go. So let's move on and we are going to make the rice dish I was talking about. In the rice dish so I'm going to open the preserved lemons and as you can see they're really soft and you don't eat the actual lemon part so we're going to take this and we're just going to put it in this bowl I'm going to use one whole lemon the insides and then I'm going to rinse off as much of the salt as I can and then we will finally chop them and add them to our rice and I am just going and I'm going to just chop this up and I will add this to the rice dish to a pan I'm going to add approximately two tablespoons of onion and I'm just going to kick those down. I have a little bit of olive oil on the bottom and then I have would normally just use fresh garlic but because I have this roasted garlic I am just going to add in some roasted garlic and then probably a little bit of garlic powder. So we might as well use it up. If I was going to be doing the regular minced garlic, I'd probably do three to four cloves, but I'm a garlic kind of a girl, so you could adjust that to just two cloves if you wanted. And that is a half a bulb of roasted garlic. And now I'm going to add one cup of white rice. Then I'm gonna do one cup vegetable stock, one cup water, and that'll help get all the little bits off of the bottom. Now the one thing I'm not going to do is I'm not going to add any salt until the very end, and the broth that I have doesn't have any salt in it because the lemons still have a little bit of a salty note to it, and I don't want it to be too salty. So, but I will add some pepper. I'm gonna add a good handful of the oregano, a smaller pinch of the thyme, and I ended up doing two lemons, just, I wanted to see how it would be. And I'm also going to add, because I didn't do the fresh garlic, just a little bit, probably like a half a teaspoon of garlic. The rice has cooked, I cooked it on low, 14 minutes, until the timer went off, and then I took it off of the burner, and I kept it the lid on until just now. So this is what it looks like, and now I'm going Going to add just a little bit over a third of a cup of feta cheese and this is again why I didn't want to add any salt because the feta cheese also has a strong salt component <laughs> today. I hope you enjoyed. If you like this video, please subscribe and give it a thumbs up. Until next time, bye!